How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Built or Bought. My most popular series, and it's the series that everyone loves, including me. Today we have the McLaren 650S. Now this is a 641 horsepower supercar that only weighs 3,100 pounds. The car costs $270,000, and we are going to be getting one-third of that price, $90,000, to build a car faster than it in both the quarter mile and the mile. Let's get started with the tests. Alrighty, McLaren 650S, quarter mile. Let's do this shit. All right, the launch wasn't that great, but everything else was good. This car's got a surprisingly nice blow-off valve, I'll be honest. And uh, 10.5, it's decent, but I can do better. Oh, it's perfect launch. I might have shifted out of first into second a little too quickly, though. And 10.06. Ugh, I want to get into nine seconds. That's my goal here. You know, I really love the way this car looks, but I think it's just... I don't know if it's the wheels or if it needs more low, but... I kind of gunned it there. It chirps both second and third gear, though, so that's fun. Hey! Are you, are you serious? Come on. 0 0.01 of a second? Ugh! Okay, well... I swear to God, if we don't get nine seconds, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> but hey, we've gotten, we've improved every single time. So, there you go. I just want, like, a boost button. Can I have a boost button? Ugh, God damn it. All right. This isn't good. It's not good. I just wanted nine seconds. I just wanted nine seconds. <laughs> A stock car that can run sub 10, that that would be pretty pretty crazy. At least one that's not like a couple million dollars, you know. I'm trying to shift earlier because everyone complains about how I don't shift early enough. Oh! Yeah! No! No! Are you, are you kidding me? Okay, well... I mean, that was our last try, uh, which really, uh, that, uh, that annoys me. Um, whatever, it's okay. 10.01 uh, is still an incredibly quick time. All right, so mile is the next test that we're doing. Um, now, this car doesn't have an incredible amount of power, so um, it probably won't be the greatest at this, but 641 is still good. I mean, it, it's still pretty, yeah, pretty dang good. Um, but it's also very easy to get up to 800 and 900 in built cars, so, eh, we'll, we'll see. I mean, that's what I thought last episode, and, well, that Mitsubishi was just awful. Um, 25.9, I think we can do better than that. Launch in the last one wasn't the greatest, so I'll just... Oh, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It's just there's something off of the looks of this car. I think the only McLaren that I really love the looks of is the F1 and the P1. All the other ones are kind of math to me. But um, and 25.9 again. Okay, 25.9 on the quarter or on the mile. So uh, it's time to build, boys. Build, boys. We're going to build a beautiful car better than the bought car. Let's go, boys. Aye, aye, alliteration, boys. All right, so, time to build a car. Of course, as always, it has to be lower than C-Class, um, starting off, that is. And the new rule is that it has to be the same drivetrain as the bought car. So, that means we have to have a real drive car in this case, but in the future, if we ever test a all-wheel drive bought car, then we have to do a all-wheel drive built car. Um, I like that. It's, it makes it a little bit more even, probably. Uh, so... Now, I think I'm going to go with a BM... Mm, uh, I don't know. I got a comment complaining that I always just make muscle cars with the NASCAR engine. But the sad thing is that that car is just so fast. Or cars like that are so fast. The NASCAR engine puts out 1,000 horsepower, and you, you can't argue with that. I mean, 
What you gonna do? Say that thousand horsepower isn't good enough? I would love to do a CUDA, but it's two hundred thousand dollars. So that's almost more expensive than our bot car. We can't do that, sadly. You know, I thought about it and I have decided we are going to do the 1991 BMW M3. It's pretty powerful. It's pretty light. Um, that's what I really like about it. It's light and it's cheap. So there you go, boys. And it's something different. I've never done a German built car. All right. So after the purchase of this car, we have $71,000 left to spend. First thing I'm going to do is probably swap in a new engine. And I think said engine is going to be a 5.2 liter V10. Uh, I don't know what this is from. Let me look that up. Ah, okay, this is from a Lamborghini Gallardo LP570 Superleggera. Cool, I'm putting, ah, oh, I feel so, I'm putting an Italian Lamborghini motor into a German. Uh, maybe I, oh. Okay, so since I don't want to insult all the German people out there, I'm gonna put this lens, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna put this engine in, it is a 3.2 liter i6. It is from a, what year is it? It's from a 05 BMW M3. So it's staying with the BMW and it's so much cheaper than that V10, half the price. So, okay, cool. That's, that's good. And it gives us 333 horsepower. So it's half the double. And after that, we have $47,000. Um, ooh, uh, yeah, let's, let's, oh my goodness. One single snail on this little engine gives me 152 horsepower that is incredible <laughs> i'm definitely doing that for 1800 dollars. now i want more power than that uh mclaren so i'm gonna no no i'm gonna do that last i'm gonna go ahead and cam it for three thousand dollars put an exhaust on it for two thousand dollars um air filter another two grand and then probably the displacement, the engine block, cooling or intercooler and cooling. So that's, yeah, there's that. And I already have more power than the, um, than the, the BMW. I'll put a flywheel on there and I might as well go for broke and put the race turbo on there. So we've got 900 horsepower. I think I'm going to go ahead and proceed to fully upgrade this section. And with that, I have $16,000 left. Cool, cool. Um, I'm gonna upgrade the drivetrain fully too. Yeah, might as well. Now, if I upgraded this, I'd have $8,000 left. I don't want $8,000 because I want drag slicks on here. So I'm gonna undo the drive line, then upgrade the differential because differentials are important, and then put drag slicks on here. Drag slicks are quite useless when you have those tiny tires. How much? Let's see. Let's see how much. Um, we've, we're out of money right now. I can put 265s on there for $2,000. So I think that's a good idea. I'm going to get rid of some power. I think I can just get rid of the air filter. No, it's not quite enough money. I can get rid of the engine block. Loses 33 horsepower, but we get a lot more traction. So I think that's a good idea. And I've gone ahead and done it. So, um, I mean, I've got like a couple hundred bucks to spare. I'm just going to get some wheels. I kind of like sticking with the same sort of-ish um, style of wheels. You know, high spoke, meshy. So let's do that. Um, cool, cool. Now, I'm not counting those wheels in the price because they didn't upgrade the performance at all. They weighed the exact same. Ooh, we got some cool bumpers here. And wings. Oh, wow. Yeah, I have actually a lot of choices for wings. Supposedly, no wing helps us the most. But I just, I think I'm going to leave the stock wing. It looks great. And it should perform well. Um, so, yeah, there's our, our car. We are making 858 horsepower, 600 foot-pounds of torque, and we weigh 2,400 pounds. It's all pretty good. And now for the tune. Lower the rear tire pressure and raise the high tire, or raise the high tire, right, right. Raise the front tire pressure, make it more towards acceleration, just a little bit. Too much can make you a little slower. 420, I like that number. That, that's a good number. I'm gonna make first gear a little shorter though. Um, cool. No rear camber and negative five degrees in the front. Decreases drag. Same thing with front angle caster. You want that all the way up. Um, now anti roll bars is preference. I like stiffing a little bit, but I'm not gonna go fully stiff because some people suggested that that was the reason why I was bogging down in some of those things. So yes. And then you wanna raise the car as high as it possibly can go, which is sad, but so it's what you got to do. Um, and then I like stiffening the back and softening the rear. It also works quite well to soften the back and stiffen the front. 
both those things work. Um, and I like to lock the differential and then I'm done. So it's not too hard to tune these things. Um, obviously if I really wanted to get perfect, I would test it, but I don't care that much. Um, if it doesn't run good times and we can tune it a little bit more. I'm gonna go and search for wide, like a wide body. I think that looked pretty dope. Oh, that's not how you spell wide. All right, noise. There we go, forgot the D. <laughs> I forgot the D. <laughs> it's either between this or this. Yeah, I think this looks pretty dang good. It's got the you know the wide body back, the mm, <laughs> wide body fronts, and it's got um, it's got the carbon fiber fronts hood. Now, I think the other one will actually be cooler though, because um, that's like you know German go BMW M Power. So yeah, I think I can actually do that. Oh yeah, I like this much much better. It looks it looks it looks cool. It looks very good. Uh, cool. It looks like a straight up race car, and they even got like a little fake intake or carbon fiber. I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. And of course, the M Power stripes. Cool. Let's let's do this shit. Let's let's destroy that British McLaren, the Br British POS. Thy drummings are always better than the British. I know we didn't win World War One or World War Two, but but we we are better. Make sure to leave a like if you want me to never do an accent again, because uh, that was awful. All right, quarter mile in the E30 BMW M3. 10.01 is the second, or 10, yeah. Wow, the gears just, I go through gears so quickly. Oh, but my goodness, it's bad. Oh, that, that's the biggest destruction that we've ever had for any Builder Bot episode. <laughs> wow. And that was with an absolute awful launch and shifting, so. Man, I'm in fifth gear before I get done with the quarter mile. That's, that's, it's, those are too short. I feel like a rally car just going through the gears and like ass down, face up. Oh, that was awful actually. Rip. I also think it's supposed to be face down, ass up, but whatever. Not when you're talking about cars at least. Nine oh 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 nine. No, nine oh oh nine. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> it's a, I like. I kind of like going through the gears that quickly, but it's definitely not the quickest way to do it. Uh, nine second again. Looks like uh, the first two were actually the best, surprisingly. All right, this is what my mother just texted me. Could you please clean out the garage by phone on so that I can park the car in the garage? Thanks. <laughs> what? <laughs> but here we are, mile in the E30. This car will destroy the McLaren as long as I don't top out too quickly, which I think probably will happen. I don't know if I have six or seven gears, but... Oh, I only have six gears. Well, shit, son. Uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, I still destroyed it. <laughs> I'm gonna tune that, and I'm, I'm gonna do better. Pretty much all I have to do is make it so these are much more towards speed, so I think I'm gonna do 3.6. Cool. 230 mile per hour top speed. That should be so much better. Let's do it again. Oh yeah, the gearing feels much better. 
it might be a little bit too short for the quarter mile. Um, so I think that was like a 9.3 second quarter mile. That's just what I thought I saw. But for the mile, so much better. I don't think we're going to top out. And if we do, then it'll be right at the end, which will be perfect. Oh, yeah. 22 seconds. So we, we should have like a second off. Um, so, yeah. Cool. Uh, the BMW won. McLaren versus BMW E30, the E31. Um, now, I'm going to be honest. I think I had too big of a budget this time. Um, I really do need to sit down and come up with some solid rules that apply to every episode of Built or Bought. And I'm going to do that after this. I definitely am going to do that. But either way, guys, it was really fun to build a $90,000 car that just destroyed a $270,000 car. Um... If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to like, and if you're new, subscribe. It really helps me out. My channel's been just, it's its like a rocket ship going into space, and it's so cool for me to see. Like, I'm just so grateful. Thank you so, so much. And I know I say that every time, but I get more more thankful every day. <laughs> um, uh, but, oh, oh, we got a mm, uh, rip. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, if you want to see more, you can check out the other episodes in my playlist, Built or Bought. It's somewhere. I don't know where it is. And if you want, you can follow me on my social media, Snapchat, uh, Twitter, Instagram. I will respond on all of those if you want to say hi or tell me, yeah, I suck or tell me you like my car or say something. You can talk to me there. Um, but also, if you have any requests for the bot car, then put them in the comment sections below. I'll see you guys for the next episode. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday.